that's kind of weird that, you know, that, like, God create someone who has to, like, go to sleep, and we have to be able to revitalize ourselves during the night. But that's just how it is. And so, if I had all this time, if I actually had 24 hours in a day, seven days a week, I would be able to do a lot of things. But I would be the only one awake during the whole night. So, you know, I think that would be the best time to travel because no one else is traveling. You know, you get to see, you see the Eiffel Tower. If you guys have ever been to um, France, if you've been to Paris, you know that the Eiffel Tower lights up at night. So I could just spend the entire night just gazing at the Eiffel Tower and all its beauty and all its lights. And there would be a lot of things to do at night. You know, you could go on a nice canoe ride. You could, I don't know, do some cool activities at night. And honestly, you can do a lot of things with your time. You could study. I mean, who wants to do that? But <laughs> you, you could work extra hours. You could do a lot of things. But yeah, I'm just basically. Alright, so we have all of our speakers up here on the board. On your bows, there's a section for who you think was the best table topic speaker, and there's also a section for your second. Right? Yeah, so be sure to fill out who you think is first, who you think is second. Second place does matter, taken into both consideration. Yeah, and I'll hand it back over to Hayden. into the middle. And next, I believe I'll be bringing Vivian back up to the floor as she is general evaluator for today's meeting. That's right, right? Yep. Excellent. Vivian, come on up. As you guys are finishing up your ballots, I'll explain what general evaluator is and what this section is for. So, we can give all the speeches we want, but it goes with that, that saying where practice makes perfect, but if you're not practicing right, you're just grinding in a bad habit. So, what evaluation does is help show you what you can improve upon so that we can become better speakers consistently. So, let's have our first, second evaluator come up, Tyler. Oh, we switched up the oh, word. Oh, right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Adana, you got Elizabeth? Yes? Excellent. Let's invite Adana to <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am evaluating Elizabeth's speech. I liked how you use hyphen to emphasize the identity crisis that you were talking about. When you first stated it, I was like, wait, hyphen, what? And then I liked how you connected to Mexican-American. That was clever. Good job. Uh, I noticed that your presentation was very conversational. And I would suggest making it, making your voice slightly louder. Because there were times where I was like, wait, what? But for the most, high, most um, part, you were very clear. You had very good eye contact. You looked around, make sure to engage the audience with your eyes. And also notice that you looked very comfortable with the audience. Um, it was good that you did not rely too much on the PowerPoint. You didn't have words, you used pictures, and you just used the pictures to help as a visual aid for your speech. Mm. I liked your examples to emphasize your identity crisis, where you compared like Santa Claus to like what Santa Claus in Mexico. <laughs> um, I would have liked. I was very curious on how you did, how you actually approached that situation. Did you use? I don't know. Did you use, actually um, use both of them or what? Like I would have wanted more um, storytelling com um, on those comparisons of uh, your identity crisis. I, there were times that I wish you showed a little bit more emotion when you were like talking about those comparisons to like for example let me think about when your teacher said choose white I don't know why she did that which was really weird I 
I would have wanted some more background on how you felt about that. Because I would have been like, what? I'm not white. I'm definitely black. But yeah, OK. Um, let's see. I'm saying oh so many times. Dang it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> okay, so identity crisis is like I, it, an internal struggle. I want it, like I wanted some type of emotions. It has a con connotation of an internal struggle, and it felt like you were like giving facts, and I wanted a story to back it up. But you were very clear in your voice, and I guess it depends on how um, depends on the person on how they would like to present. But I felt like um, some. Dang it, stop with the ums. Okay, I wanted some type of emotion. Your gestures, not gestures, right? Okay, <laughs> gestures were very simple, but they were efficient in some ways, but also would have liked some body movement as well. But overall, nice job, girl. <laughs> Okay, let's have our next evaluator, Ader. Miss you. Uh, so this is Tyler's fifth speech from a persuasive leader, and his objectives were to co communicate his vision and mission to his audience, and convince your audience to work toward achieving your vision and mission. His vision was for everybody to practice martial arts. And the first part he did to um, persuade us to do that is with his traits that you can't see anymore. Um, like, those are very, um, very good traits that I think, like, defy, like, maybe a good person that's very youth, that's universal to everybody in the world. And, like, because I know, I don't know anybody that wouldn't want to have self-respect. Um, I don't know anyone like and like discipline is like that's one of the good things that they say to be successful in any path so that's like what a general trait that could be translated to any walks of life and that's the first part he used to persuade us the second part he used was that I really liked was the um, at the end where he en enacted all the moves with um, Zach that made me um, want to basically try martial arts because it was it seemed fun. It seemed interesting to like take down people and like someone that's like 220 pounds, six five. I could take them down with like a swift movement on my shoulder. Uh, and like just from his past speeches and what like persuades me a lot is energy. I don't know if like martial arts is like you're supposed to be calm or that like that's the um, I guess environment in martial arts. But I know like what personally what persuades me more is to have energy to like be more, I guess, excited or like more, just show a more emotion towards like, I want you to do this martial arts because I believe it will help you in your life. And then, uh, yeah, that's about, um, and, and then, and then also to be more effective in your, in your speech, um, if you would have went into depth, on one of the um, traits and like showed a story and like told told more told more of a story in one of the traits that um, you portrayed like say like discipline or self respect the one that you like really felt the most about that changed you or you could have like when you were um, taking down sack you could have used that in a story like you started out like oh he's talking to my girlfriend then like after that like you took him down and like maybe Zach was doing martial arts and then he threw you to the floor and then like oh you have to do this move to get him back up and I feel like that would have been very interesting for the audience and, like would have persuaded us more to like I guess to go out and do martial arts which is your vision so overall uh, good speech I liked it I may try martial arts if I know where martial arts thing is. I've never seen one ever. We can help you out. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, all right, so um, I'll start with the speakers. Uh, Jake, you have two so's. Elizabeth, you had uh, 10 plus mostly, you relied on ands. Um, Tyler, you had zero for your speech part. Uh, Anor, you had let's see, seven. Adana, you had ten plus um, for, I guess, uh, table topics. Jessica, you had one, and I was very happy. Um, <laughs> Mike, you had zero. Uh, Aiden, you had three. Andrew, you had two. Nasir, you had three. Um, Victor is not here anymore. He had 10 plus. Um, Vivian, you had 2. Serena, you had 5. Adama, you had uh, 10 plus for your evaluation. Um, Nasir, you had 10 plus for your evaluation as well. And I did not count anything for, uh, is it Hall Haley? Hey. Sorry, I couldn't. <laughs> Alright, that's my Finish off with reports from the grammarian. Okay, so uh, subject verb agreement was for the most part uh, good. A uh, slang there it was it was usually used after the speech was finished, so I kind of disregarded them. But minimum slang was used. Uh, there were a lot of run-on sentences where people would continuously use and and or they would add conjunctions or. They would, af like, as I, as I am right now. <laughs> after after I finished the clause, I would say, they would they would add another word such as basically. So watch out for that and don't don't use run on sentences. And that's it. evaluation of the meeting as well as the evaluators who went. So the meeting traditionally started a little bit late. That's why Tradition. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been a few weeks when I'm caught on. So, so that could give room for improvement. I love the word of the day. I wasn't sure if it was a real word, but <laughs> it's an exclamation. I was, yeah. <laughs> the toastmaster, I thought you were very well spoken. I thought you were very well spoken and very char charismatic with the way that <laughs> you speak and transition between each of the segments of the meeting. You're orderly, and everything had a good flow. For the table topics master. I thought your idea was very creative, and the, the concept of displaying the images on the screen for people to choose and point out, it was nice to have that visual, as well as that backstory falling into a So I thought that led to a really great table talk. For our first evaluator, he's not here, but he gave good, ex good specific examples and gave critiques on overall speech usage as well as body usage. And I like how he tied in a life lesson where he was like, hey, as speakers, we're gonna deal with things that we can't control. We're just gonna have to go with it. So I just liked the life lesson that came with it. For Adana, I like how you had personality in your evaluation and you were speaking to Elizabeth like you were her friend. Like you truly cared about what she was saying and her presentation and gave her very nice critiques on how to improve. You also brought in the factor of emotion and emotion is very important in terms of speaking and delivering an effective message. So focusing on that was really good. And I noticed you would kind of do this hand gesture a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So that's something you can be a little bit more cognizant of, just to like, tone down a little bit. And for Nasir, 
I like how you pointed out also good points of the effectiveness of the speech in terms of hitting emotion and how your critique was to tell a better story because speeches are basically story and that's how you captivate people and keep their attention is by making it relatable and having them feel some kind of way. So when you told him that you wanted to start taking martial arts because of his speech, I think that was a good reminder of what speaking should be about. And that's all I got. I wasn't entirely sure who comes up to do oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Please yes. help me, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> in getting the quickest updates, usually we post in a group now. Yes. And also, we're going to have our first viral video. Thanks to Tyler. You'll find that five minutes of this entire meeting is just blank. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to have a hard cut where it's like, all right, now I'm going to demonstrate. All right, now. <laughs> all right. And also, I wanted to announce that we, are, we do have an opening position for an officer position. So if you're interested in becoming an officer, please talk to me after the meeting, and then we can talk to, I can talk to you about the position and then what, what, train, what training would be like and what the position would revolve around. So if you're interested, come, to, come talk to me after the meeting. And then, if you're interested in becoming a member, Monday's not here today, but you can talk to me for membership. And also, you'll bring up more now. After I sign in. Oh, and on Thursday, we have our supplemental meetings. Jessica, would you like to talk about? Sure. <laughs> As I um, talked about two weeks ago, I'm offering a workshop on how to conduct productive meetings. Need I give the same pitch that I gave in two, week, two weeks ago? Yes. If you're tired of boring meetings and want to be an overall better meeting leader, come out on Monday, uh, Thursday, <laughs> October 20th, I have so much going on in my life, uh, um, October 25th, there will be refreshments, <laughs> and eight people will get a certificate that I will present the next Monday, because we need presidents and whatnot to sign. So I'm passing around this sign-in sheet, name and email, if you already signed it please, last time, please do it again, because I lost that sheet of paper. I know I'm so responsible, right? Thank you all. <laughs> yes. Or email me directly. All right, and that'll be this Thursday from 5.45 to 7 in yeah. tape 137. Yes. It'll be in the basement of tape. Uh, no. <laughs> yes and no. I didn't know I was going to sign something. <laughs> yeah, put right. that down. I mean, color. So now for our next meeting, would anyone like to be two weeks? Two weeks. Wait, oh, you want me to do something? Yeah. What would you like to do? Oh, this one. This one. Wait, I can only be evaluator. Right? Evaluator or below? Okay, I'll be evaluator. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. In two weeks. Ooh. 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 Big move. Big move. Alright. <laughs> so, would anyone like to be a Toastmaster of the Day next week? That was Haley's question. She also did a really good job her first time. I think she should do it again since she just did <laughs> such a bad, fabulous job. I mean, you know. Dealt with a lot of last minute changes, so. Yeah. Also really good. So, anyone like to do it? We also do have a supplemental documents folder in our Google Drive, so it can tell you step by step what to do. So, it's not completely just throwing you into the pit deep end. So, anyone like to be Toastmaster of the day? This year. Hey! Here we go. Jessica then, would not like to be a table topics presenter and she would like to be speaker for. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. if that's possible. It is possible. Oh, yeah, but I'm not. Would anyone like to be table topics for next week? So um, I'll be speaker number one. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know, 
this ain't saved the best for last. <laughs> 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 you keep on telling yourself that. <laughs> Would anyone like to be a speaker? Vivian, all right. Yeah, this time you just want to be and then we also have two available spots afterwards, so we can have backups in case any one of us four drops. This time you have to speak on the phone. Scroll? Fourth or third? Any positions? Anyone like to be general evaluator? That was Vivian's role today.
that concludes the meeting. Oh, can everyone gather to the front for just a final photo and then we can conclude? Also, grab, grab pizza. You can also have pizza in the photo too, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Hey. Gotta make the sponsors happy. <laughs> Wait, did we buy it? Or... Wait, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs>